What is poppin' pommies? My name is Senovitz, and welcome back to the latest updates on your favorite gamers and mine, Mark, Jack, and Felix. I'm your host, Senovitz, and today we've got a lot to talk about. First of all, the trailer for In Space with Markiplier is out, with a release date for the actual YouTube Originals interactive film for April 4th, 2022. 2022. And it looks fantastic. This is the third installment in the YouTube Markiplier expanded universe from a date with Markiplier, a heist with Markiplier. I can't wait for, I don't know, a camping with Markiplier or something, but this one looks like it's taking everything to the next frontier. Get it? Because it's space. And also, I heard that this might be one of the last YouTube originals because Google announced that they're scaling back the program. So this is cool that they're actually going to push this out. And I cannot wait to see it because it looks fantastic. And it's cool that Mark's able to do some really cool stuff even after all the COVID mishaps and kidamels. I don't know. That's a word I just made up. But it's really cool that we're going to get this and I'm super excited for it. Next up, PewDiePie actually tested out Minecraft 1.18, the new release, and he stumbled upon the Warden. After coming across the Warden's domain, he was able to defeat the ugly beast after a long and grueling battle. Afterwards, he brought back some of the Warden's blocks as a trophy and set them up in his base, but that did not go as planned. He quickly regretted that decision after setting down a skulk screecher, I think I said that right, and it summoned the ugly beast itself, laying siege to his base. Obviously chaos ensued, but thankfully Pewds, the man of zero deaths, was able to defeat the foul monster and reclaim his home but lost the poor Bonky the Donkey as a sacrifice. A moment of silence for Bonky. <laughs> In more serious news, Jacksepticeye came out with a video a few weeks ago addressing the problem with YouTube's comments section. In particular, YouTube's inability to sift through comments that are self-promo, spam, hate comments, and more, just generally not good stuff, and ab until after a few hours after upload. Lately, it's a special breed of spammers, bots, similar comments all the time. It's just an absolute disaster to read. I know you've probably seen them in his videos in the comment section and probably the comment section of others creators. Not mine though, because mine have only three comments and they're from the three best people in the world probably. Cause you know, we got a great community here. So yeah, thank you for, just thank you. I'm just gonna put a little thank you in there. But still, seriously, the YouTube comment section needs to be fixed. All right, it only takes a few hours until they actually start sifting through and you know, deleting and hiding bad comments, but it shouldn't take that long. It should be almost immediate. And once the YouTube recognizes that there's a comment that's bad, it should get rid of it. So hopefully YouTube realizes the problem and gets to work on fixing it. And it's good that you don't, YouTube creators like Jack and even Moist Critical are bringing up the issue. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I've never done something like this and I just thought, you know, it'd be kind of fun to do a series on my favorite creators and just see what happens, you know? So if you liked it, I don't know, maybe you liked the video, let me know. And I hope you all enjoyed. This is Cinevitz, signing off. Gosh, it feels good to say that.